Hi guys, welcome back to Chikadia. Today, we're not doing a tutorial, but instead, it's kind of an educational video based on current corona outbreak. It can be scary to hear about any disease outbreak, especially for children, as they are exposed to so much of information from various sources, sometimes it could be uncomprehendable. So let me explain with simple illustrations. Firstly, what is a virus? Viruses are tiny particles that can invade living cells to multiply themselves. There are millions of varieties in the world with different shapes, structures and behavior. Coronaviruses are one such group named for the crown-shaped outlines. Corona means crown in Latin. There are four known types of coronaviruses that commonly infect human beings. A lot of times when you get a common cold, it is caused by a coronavirus. But this coronavirus, which everybody is talking about, is a newly discovered one. And it causes a new type of disease called COVID-19. It first emerged in China at a place called Wuhan. Within a couple of months, it quickly spread throughout the world and made lots of people really sick. Now about the symptoms, a lot of symptoms of COVID-19 are similar to cold and flu, like a dry itchy cough, a fever, hard to breathe in severe cases. But don't worry, though anybody could get infected, most of the people who have gotten sick have had a mild case, especially kids. There are not a lot of cases in kids and even the ones infected tend to be mild. But do keep in mind and be cautious because people who are much older or those who already have other health problems are more likely to get severely ill and develop conditions like pneumonia which could be life-threatening. But do not panic. If anyone in the house feels like they might have coronavirus, they can immediately call a doctor and get help. Severe cases are treated at the hospitals by the medical professionals, but the milder ones and cases of kids do not need hospitalization. A good amount of rest and keeping check on your symptoms at home will do. It will resolve itself in a few days of time. If you have any serious concerns or confused or worry about anything, do not hesitate to ask any adult that you trust. Do not believe and get scared by all the rumors circling on social media or among your friends. Always ask a trustworthy adult. One tiny good news for us is that, luckily, the virus cannot spread without our help. So, to stop helping the virus to spread from human to human, there are certain things in our control that we can try to do. To an extent, this will prevent our family, friends and neighbors from getting sick. The first one is, wash your hands often. Wash them after every activity you do in a day. Wash for at least 20 seconds, getting into all the nooks and cracks. Secondly, always cover while you sneeze. Not with your hands, but use your elbows like this. Like a ninja in a stealth mode. I am Batman. Always avoid touching your face. The virus can enter our body through our mouth, nose or eyes. So, no more licking your fingers or picking your nose or even rubbing your eyes. Maintain at least 6 feet distance from people when in public. If you suspect someone being sick, stay away from them. You must have noticed some people wearing a mask. It could mean that they are sick or simply wearing to protect themselves. If there is a really, really bad outbreak in your region, 
there would be a curfew placed and you would be asked to remain home and follow social distancing or sometimes a complete quarantine in severely affected regions. So be patient, stay at home and you are already a hero doing your part in saving our world. We can do this. On the heavier note, you must have already heard about the statistics and the death tolls in the news. Unfortunately, that is true. But you know, let's try to focus on the positive things. There are lots of professionals out there like scientists and pharmacists working on vaccines, police officers, doctors, teachers, leaders, family and all the other helpers of various kinds who are working so hard to protect us. So don't worry, stay home and enjoy your time at home. Follow your online classes, do fun indoor activities. Uh, you know, you could follow my channel Chikariya for some amazing drawing ideas too. And always remember, coronavirus can affect anybody. It doesn't matter where you come from or how you look. So never ever take this as an opportunity to point at someone based on how they look. To all the elders, please answer all your little ones doubts and concerns. They need to know properly as they are exposed to so much news from various sources around and it's our responsibility to ease those little minds. Don't overwhelm them with a lot, but just the right stuff to make them feel safe. Take care y'all. Have a safe day.